fellow St. Lucians, my dear farmers, all stakeholders in the agriculture sector, ladies and gentlemen, every year St. Lucia joins the rest of the world to celebrate World Food Day. The theme chosen to mark this year's observance is Climate is Changing, Food and Agriculture Must Do. This theme is indeed both timely and appropriate. Just two weeks ago, we, and indeed the rest of the Caribbean, were reminded by Tropical Storm Matthew of the impact of changing climate. Whilst we were partially spared, our sisters in CARICOM, Haiti, and the Bahamas were not as fortunate. Experts tell us that climate change will bring about more frequent droughts and heavy rainfall. Hurricanes will be more severe and intense with large peak wind speed and heavy rains. In light of the dwindling resources and knowledge that these phenomena are expected to have a human impact. No, let's go. We rang up. I like the flu. Mm, I like the flu. You ready? Yes. Fellow St. Lucians, my dear farmers, all stakeholders in the agriculture sector, ladies and gentlemen, every year, St. Lucia joins the rest of the world to celebrate World Food Day. The theme chosen to mark this year's observance is climate is changing, food and agriculture must do. This theme is indeed both timely and appropriate. Just two weeks ago, we, and indeed the rest of CARICOM, were reminded by Tropical Storm Matthew of the impact of changing climate. Whilst we were partially spared, our sisters in CARICOM, Haiti, and the Bahamas were not as fortunate. Expert tells us that climate change will bring about more frequent droughts and heavy rains. Hurricanes will be more severe and intense with larger peak winds speed and heavier rains. In light of our dwindling resources and knowledge, these phenomena are expected to have a human impact on small farmers that can make them less able to withstand the deleterious effect and the country more vulnerable to food and nutritional insecurity. There is no doubt that climate change poses a serious threat to our sustainable development, impacting negatively on livelihoods, ecosystem, infrastructure, health, and our productive sectors. For small island developing states like St. Lucia, the threat is even more severe due to its biological characteristics and geographic location in the hurricane belt. The concentration of our population and economic infrastructure in coastal zones, to name a few. Let me say, small island state developing states like St. Lucia, the threat is even more severe due to the bio, biophysical characteristic geographic location in, in the hurricane belt. The concentration of population like on economic infrastructure and coastal zones in the name of it. All right, anyway, what do you want to do? You want to take it from there? Want to start over? You want to take it from there? Can mm -hmm. he take it from here? We could continue, but then we'll have to get footage to cover, cover the footage. Mm. I don't know if that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Footage of, of the impact of climate change on this slide? Yeah. Mm. So you could continue from all the Okay. Small, okay. Small. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Ready? Go ahead. For small island 
developing states like St. Lucia, the threat is even more severe due to its bio biophysical characteristics and geographic location in the hurricane belt. The concentration of our population and economic infrastructure in coastal zones, to name a few. During the past five years, we, ha we have experienced disasters like Thomas, Derby, and other troughs and droughts that have impacted negatively on our livelihoods, food security, and our overall economic development. The big lessons learned from these experiences is that it cannot be business as usual. We cannot continue to use our natural resources the way we do. Our farming practices must change. We must protect our river banks. We must have to be more we have to be sorry. Okay, the big lessons. I'll do that all over you. Know. you hear me? I'll do that all over. Once one right through. Huh? Yeah, just go off. Okay. The big lessons, you ready? Yeah. The big lessons learned from these experiences is that it cannot be business as usual. We cannot continue to use our natural resources the way we do. Our farming practices must change. We must protect our river banks. We have to be more discriminatory in the areas that we choose to farm. Our food and agriculture policy must change. We must implement agricultural practices that build resilience to climate change. Therefore, managing climate change is critical if we are to achieve sustainable agricultural development. In light of the new challenges associated with climate change, new consideration must include, one, the development of structures that would enable the agricultural sector to adopt and cope with natural disaster. One example would be, the management of water, either in drought situations or reduce on the impact of flooding. Two, modification of our cropping pattern. Three, improvement to our agricultural practices by adopting cultural practices that reflect an awareness of climate changing conditions. Four, establishment of insurance scheme. Five, how we implement sustainable land management practices to avoid erosion and loss of fertility. And six, the level of awareness to encourage stakeholders in best practices. In this way, we would give meaning to this year World Food Day theme, climate is changing, food and agriculture must too. The observance of World Food Day this year and its appropriate theme also provide us with an opportunity to reflect to examine how vulnerable we are to climate change. Given the fact that agriculture is one of the main pillars in our socio-economic development, we too must change the way we implement our agriculture, in closing, on behalf of the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Physical Planning, Natural Resources and Cooperative, and by extension the government, I would like to express our appreciation to all governments and agencies supporting the development of agriculture and fisheries sectors and to wish all our stakeholders a successful World Food Day. I thank you. Your last one, you need to watch for a second because when you said thank you, your head was looking away. Now, when you okay. edit it, you'll be on camera saying thank you, okay? So, let's okay. say your last one, just always hold it here. I'm doing I'm, 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 everything over again. <coughs> okay. Okay. All right, Sydney, we yes. have time, right? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, hmm? we'll, we'll, we'll come back with the, the footage. Okay, well, I'll do, I'll do that over again, I think. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll do the last, the last one. Last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Fellow St. Lucians, my dear farmers, all stakeholders in the agricultural sector, ladies and gentlemen, 
Every year, St. Lucia joins the rest of the world to celebrate World Food Day. The theme chosen to mark this year's observance is climate is changing, food and agriculture must too. This theme is indeed both timely and appropriate. Just two weeks ago, we, and indeed the rest of the Caribbean, were reminded by tropical storm Matthew of the impact of changing climate. Whilst we were partially spared, our sisters in CARICOM, Haiti, and the Bahamas were not as fortunate. Expert tells us that climate change will bring about more frequent droughts and heavy rainfall. Hurricanes will be more severe and intense with larger peak winds, speed, and heavy rains. In light of our dwindling resources and knowledge, these phenomena are expected to have a human impact on small farmers that can make them less able to withstand the deleterious effect that the country more vulnerable to food and nutritional insecurity. There is no doubt that climate change pose, poses a serious threat to our sustainable development, impact negatively on livelihood, ecosystem, infrastructure, health, and our productive sector. Small, small island developing states like St. Lucia, the threat is even more severe due to its biophysical characteristics and geographic locations in the hurricane belt. The concentration of our population and economic infrastructure in coastal zones, to name a few, to name a few, to name a few. Let's go. Small island states like St. Lucia, the threat is even more severe due to its biophysical characteristics and geographic location in the hurricane belt. The concentration of our population and economic infrastructure in coastal zones, to name a few, during the past five years, we have experienced disasters like Thomas, Derby, and other troughs and droughts that have impacted negatively on our livelihood, food security, and overall economic development. The big lessons learned from these experiences is that it cannot be business as usual. We cannot continue our natural resources. We cannot, we cannot. The big, the big lessons learned from these experiences is that we, we can, it cannot be business as usual. We cannot continue to use our natural resources the way we do. Our farming practices must change. We must protect our river banks. We have to be more discriminatory in the areas we choose to farm. Our food and agricultural policy must change. We must implement agricultural practices that build resilience to climate change. Therefore, managing climate change is critical if we are to achieve sustainable agricultural development. In light of the new challenges associated with climate change, new consideration must include, one, the development of structures that will enable the agricultural sector to adopt and cope with natural disaster. One example would be the management of water either in drought situations or reduce on impact of flooding. Two, modification of cropping patterns. Three, improvement to our agricultural practices by adopting cultural practices that reflect an awareness of changing climatic conditions. Four, establishment of insurance scheme. Five, how we implement sustainable land management practices to avoid erosion and loss of fertility. And six, the level of awareness to encourage stakeholders to, to best practice. In this way, we would give meaning to this year's World Food Day theme,
climate is changing, food and agriculture must too. The observance of World Food Day this year is appropriate. No. Yeah, the observance. In this way, we would give meaning to this year's World Food Day theme. Climate is changing, food and agriculture must do. The observance of World Food Day this year and its appropriate theme also provide us with an opportunity to reflect, to examine how vulnerable we are to climate change. Given the fact that agriculture is one of the main pillars in our socio-economic development, we too must change the way we implement our agriculture. In closing, on behalf of the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Physical Planning, Natural Resources, and Cooperative, and by extension the government, I would like to express our appreciation to all governments and agencies supporting the development of agriculture fishery sectors and to wish all our stakeholders a successful Wolf Food Day. I thank you.